I'm Kayla Giovanazzo and I'm the CEO of Eat Clean Bro. I usually wake up around 6.30 a.m. unless my son, Giorgio, decides to wake up earlier. I really cherish meals as a family, so I love starting out the morning having breakfast together. Especially at 37 weeks pregnant, I really need to be out the door by 8.30. I have limited time to get everything ready before this new baby comes. Today, Jamie's heading to the gym before work, so I'll see him at the office. When I get to the office, I like to get myself settled and start going through my tasks for the day, greet the staff, and then begin tackling my email inbox. Today, we have a really important tech meeting. You'd be surprised how much tech goes into running a successful food business. My door is always open to everyone. There's many questions and requests all day. Now it's lunchtime, and this is my favorite because we get to try out new menu items. At this time, we'll discuss our current meals, their sales, maybe possible new items, and then any issues that we currently have. After lunch, we have a phone call about exploring a new software to implement on our website that would help with sales tax and logistics as we expand into new states. Now I'll head into another meeting for about an hour of promo planning. Promotions are a big, big part of Eat Clean Bro, and this is such a fun meeting for us. It's really fun to have the whole staff in one room all weighing in and sharing their ideas. Before I leave the office, I always make sure to check out with all my staff and say goodbye. After work, I'll try to squeeze in a little bit of me time, so I'll head to the gym for about an hour or so. Being pregnant, it's really hard to force yourself to work out, but exercise is so good for you and your baby. Once I'm home and settled, I'll sometimes try to put my work phone away for the night. Family dinner is so important to us, so we like to make sure we sit down and we eat together. After dinner, it's time to give Giorgio a bath, and once bath time is complete, we get him right into bed. Once Giorgio is sleeping, I'm usually not far behind. I have to mentally prepare myself to get up and do this all again tomorrow.